Hi guys, it's Kylie the Jellyfish. Is my shirt backwards? Is it? I don't know. I don't think so. Whatever, it looks the same on both sides. Wait, let me see. Whatever. <laughs> okay guys, so I'm here with my best friend. My best friend cat right here. And as you can see, she's already a little bit lighter than she was before. I'll have a picture right next to what she was before. In the picture she's kind of dirty blonde with like kind of like a golden honey blonde hue in there but like her hair was completely virgin hair, completely natural highlights. You're a dark blonde pretty much but it's all natural and it's very hard to find natural blondes in general so the fact that you're a natural blonde at all is really cool um, except now you're not but <laughs> um, but your hair I realize bleaching your hair gave it a little bit of texture or is this wave from a bun I've been wave from the shower I've never seen your hair that wavy before because you no, know how my hair was, from was wispy wispy and thin pin straight before I ever bleached my hair. After I bleached my hair, it started to get its own texture to it. Like, my hair texture completely changed after I bleached it. No, I think this is from bleach. Okay, awesome. So we just changed Kat's texture. So on Monday, it's actually Saturday now, but on Monday and Tuesday, we spent about a total of 10 hours lifting her from her dark natural blonde color to this hair and it's like Khaleesi blonde um, there's a little bit of like um, pastel uh, pastel purples like through her roots right now because I kind of did like a weird mask on her that I did a tint mask to see how her roots would take the dye and it did really well it was a little too vibrant so I <coughs> clarified her hair a bit so that it wasn't as vibrant because um, the sides of her hair, where her baby hairs are, it was so white that it was just vibrant purple. It was like Barney purple. <laughs> I mean, it wasn't it wasn't that warm of a purple, but it was like that bright. I mean, the hair looks very white on camera, but on here you can here see some areas that are just a little bit muddier, you would say, because they, they only look muddy compared to the rest of the hair. Mm -hmm. But really, that's just her blonde. Like, that's not even her natural blonde. That's, like, a little bit lighter, but it was just not lifted well enough when we took it out. So, um, instead of... Yeah, like, I tried to lift it. It just didn't lift in time because we had limited time last time. So, I'm going to go back through, touch up some of the darkest areas in her hair, and then eventually we're going to take her to this pastel purple. We're going to do more of a lavender hue rather than a lilac hue, a lilac hue which I had planned, but um, basically the difference is having a little bit more blue kind of periwinkle pigment versus having like a pinkish pigment in it. Either way, it's still pastel purple, right Kat? <laughs> I'm going to show you guys exactly how I mixed together this color so you guys can recreate it at home. The way I achieved this was using Girls Night by Arctic Fox and Periwinkle by Arctic Fox. I also threw in, because like, I mean, she has so much hair, I just wasn't sure this was going to cover it all, um, even though that's a lot right there. But um, there's also a Periwinkle by Lunar Tides. Um, I, I really did want to compare the two periwinkles because they're both periwinkle. And um, I do have a sheet that I swatched them on before I mixed them together. What do you, who are you ordering from? Papa John's. Yes, my dude. That's the best one. Yes. Um, I call the jalapenos on the side. Okay. I won't eat them. You can have them. <laughs> <laughs> so this color right here is the Arctic Fox periwinkle. This color right here is the Lunar Tides periwinkle. As you can see, the... Arctic Fox one is a lot more vibrant and the Lunar Tides one is just a little bit more purpley too like I've, I like the Arctic Fox version better yeah and I think Lunar Tides is too expensive for like less less pigment like it's not worth it and I do like their stuff because I did realize I feel like it is a little bit not a little bit more conditioning but it has more oils in it and I'm not sure what the oils are but they, if you look at the ingredients, they're so much more natural. Um, I mixed this periwinkle in with all of that as well. And amethyst purple. 
um, which is their pastel purple. It's kind of slightly pinker than Girls' Night, but um, it's still a really nice purple. Um, because of the pinkness, the periwinkle really kind of canceled out that pinkness, and it's still a very blue uh, lilac, or no, it's still a very bluey lavender. You can buy all of these dyes that I'm showing here at arcticbuffalo.com. The link is in my description, and you can purchase any of these for 20% off using my discount code jellyfish. I'm going to be putting a slight shadow root on her hair, and that is just the same exact thing except a darker pigment. Um, it has a combination of so many other colors in there that I just can't list all of them. But um, basically, there's a little bit of a browner pigment in there just to make it more natural looking than the rest of it because it's going straight on her root and it'll make a nice transition to her regrowth. And it's a little bit more smoky so that it's less vibrant and less shocking of a color uh, when it frames her face. Alright guys, so this is Kat's hair. She, uh, turn around, Kat. She has an, um, a cape on. Yep, so I'm gonna trim her hair up just a little bit because the ends are a little frizzy because of the bleach. And, um, we were just gonna get rid of that so her hair feels so much healthier. And since it's so dense at the bottom, I was just gonna, like, texturize just, like, half an inch. All right, had no need to fight. 